Hey everyone, one year. It's been an entire year uh, since I decided to start walking a minimum of 10,000 steps per day. Uh, feels, in a, in a strange sort of way, it's, you know, I'm, I'm really excited, but I'm not. Um, if you had have asked me at the very start of, uh, of, of this journey over a year ago, you know, I, I would have said it was an amazing thing to achieve if I had did it for a year and, and you know, actually all my children, including my wife's, uh, all bet against me that I wouldn't uh, do it. And ironically, it's weird because I don't feel like there's a need for a big celebration or, or, or woohoo or pat on the back because truthfully, it, it honestly wasn't that hard. Um, you know, were there some difficult days, uh, you know, due to weather and, you know, my body not maybe feeling so good? Uh, yeah, but, you know, everyone has, uh, has less than perfect days every day. And so, you know, if you have a, a good attitude and the right mindset, you, you push through it. And uh, anyway, really happy I did. I'm going to continue on with this, uh, with this journey. And uh, so, you know, I'm going to give uh, the results and, and I guess, you know, kind of some thoughts after about, uh, you know, if I would recommend, you know, doing this. Um, so uh, I'm not going to give the exact numbers because uh, I, I don't script this stuff or whatever. And, and so I'm kind of, I, I do have it over here, but I can't really see it so good. But it, it's over, uh, uh, over a half a million calories, uh, active calories burnt primarily from walking in one year. Um, I believe it's over over 2,100 uh, miles, uh, over 3,400 kilometers, and it's about 4.4 million steps in that year. And uh, I started at 366 or 69 pounds, something like that, uh, um, and I'm down to uh, 306. So that means uh, you know 60 or a little over 60 pounds. And I didn't really change a diet. I, I didn't really do anything other than walk, and you know, I did some swimming in the summer and stuff. But uh, that's that's basically about it. And so, you know, if 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 you're asking, you know, do I recommend this uh, for people? And you know, the answer is very simply yes. Um, particularly if you are someone who is, uh, you know, significantly overweight or out of shape or whatever you want to call it, um, to, to do for, for me, it was, you know, I was going to say a better 90 ish minute a day commitment, uh, which really isn't that hard. I got most of it out of the way in, in the morning, you know, before work and before, uh, before, uh, you know, you get busy and distracted with other things. And, and, and then I would try, you know, when I was at work to, uh, to, to walk, uh, you know, after lunch, uh, which there's definitely benefits to, uh, um, you know, I, I think it actually helps your digestion, helps weight loss, uh, you know, going for a walk after uh, every meal. Um, and, you know, whatever I was uh, short um, for my steps, and, and often I wasn't, often I, I didn't need to uh, uh, do anything when I got home, but if, uh, if I did, I did. Um, not a big deal, so uh, you know there's there's a lot of pros for this because it, it's uh, it's a it's a it's a low stress activity, you know, meaning on your body and your joints, and you know, considering I was closer to 400 pounds than than 300, uh, you know, uh, my heart uh, you know took a pounding, uh, you, you know, at the beginning, but. Uh, you know, you can acclimate into it, and and that's really what happens. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, you know, not twice as fast, but close from the first uh, the first times that I was uh, going around the neighborhood, and uh, you know, and, and and it's you know something you don't need need a, a decent pair of shoes. Uh, that's about it. And uh, if you live, uh, you know, with lots of weather fluctuations, you you. You need, you know, basically some decent outdoor uh, outdoor clothing, and you know, which most people probably have all those items anyway. So, you know, it's great. And then, you know, if you were actually in great shape and you know you were at the gym and did all that stuff, I would still recommend. 
uh, you know, the walking, you know, maybe you don't need to do 10,000 steps a day, uh, um, but a, a, a nice walk in the morning or the evening or whenever you have the time to do it, there, there's a real mental benefit for it. It, it just makes you, uh, you think better, you, you clear your head and, and, you know, the interaction that you have with, uh, you know, you know, outside and nature and the things that you see, you know, I basically met people on my neighborhood that you know I've been here for I guess over 15 years or whatever it is uh, you know I didn't you know I knew them but didn't know them and some people I didn't even know existed and you know they were kind and supportive uh, uh, you know I want to you know thank my wife and my kids and you know other family and friends that uh, directly supported me you know doing this and uh, you know and, and you guys as well uh, you know, the, the whole point of me making these videos uh, a year ago was uh, for primarily for my own consumption to, to see and track and be able to, to go back and, and look and, and see how I felt and, and, you know, if I actually would continue to do it. And, you know, but getting so many subscribers and so many kind people um, you know, giving advice and, and, you know, kind of cheering along, essentially, uh, uh, you know, it kept me accountable and, and, and made it easy to, to get by. So, uh, you know, big thanks to everyone, uh, including, uh, I got to tell you something really cool that happened. So I, I work at a transportation company and we have a big warehouse and I would try, you know, at lunchtime, you know, because I have to go out and check things in the warehouse anyway. So I would try to make a, a kind of a brisk walk around, you know, the farthest outside perimeter of the warehouse possible. And I've never talked about what I was doing at work with anyone. And, you know, I think people saw that, you know, I was starting to walk with purpose and do things. And, and I would take, you know, this, the, the first, the first lap would be this outside lap. And, you know, the guys, when the warehouse were full, uh, you know, I think they, they knew something was up and I was doing you know this for a reason and they kind of kept me uh they kept a nice little aisle for me to uh to, to go around so you know th th thanks for them for for noticing and being kind to uh to, to do something like that so anyway uh you know uh hope hope everyone else is doing real well i'm gonna you know incorporate uh, some dieting and some other exercise probably some some anabolic lifting and I'm going to continue to walk and, uh, you know, hopefully a year from down, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, you know, in better shape, feel better, you know, might, might, might look a little better too. Uh, I guess I wouldn't say, I don't think my appearance has changed dramatically. Um, I, I feel if you looked at me from front on, there isn't a tremendous amount of uh, a difference, but if I turn sideways, uh, I definitely think, you know, I'm definitely narrower, I guess, is, uh, is the right word. So, so I'm not going to lie, there's a, a bit of vanity that uh, goes along with being able to wear uh, smaller clothes and, and, you know, maybe at some point, uh, even a year from now, get into even nicer clothes. Uh, you know, I'm still over 300 pounds, so it limits your options. But, uh, but anyway, I, I'll, I'll stop because I think I'm kind of rambling now. But, uh, Anyway, take care everyone, be safe, and uh, we'll catch y'all sometime soon.